Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Nine Malls As Seen on TV Gadget Re Review Channel. Today is going to be a food review. This is all uh, products from the Dollar Tree. These are burritos. And my goal this month is 5,000 stars. We're at 21%, so I really appreciate everyone that gave stars. Hopefully in this video, we can uh, meet the goal or at least get closer. So this is from the Dollar Tree. These are burritos. The egg rolls yesterday were really popular. I couldn't believe how popular that video is. <laughs> That's, it's actually one of my most popular videos of all time. Um, and then Facebook Live, there was like 70 viewers. So let's see if we can do that today. Uh, but this is the El Monterey Extra Large Burrito flavored with beef and bean, which is scary to me that it's flavored and it doesn't contain beef and bean, but it's flavored with beef and bean. This is another kind of little scary one, just packaging wise. It's the Big Burrito by Tina's. Tina's, this has 18 grams of protein, it says. This has 16 grams of protein. And then we have the El Monterey Extra Large Chimichanga Spicy Red Hot Bean and Cheese, a little bit different. And it has 14 grams of uh, protein in that one. So let's uh, let's do a kind of a classic. I've, I've, this is a popular brand, El Monterey. Classic hits oh. Amazon Music. She's listening to me. That was Alexa, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, let's try this out. This is a brand that ever, I think everyone knows. It's an extra large burrito. Let's see here, 505, or 550 calories in this thing. Ingredients. So we got water, enriched wheat flour. I like how they, that's kind of cool. I've never seen that. They spaced out the ingredients. You can get that at Walmart too. Can you get them for $1.25 at Walmart? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Mona? Uh, yeah, my stomach's been upset for the past two days, actually. Uh, they, yeah, it's not, I mean, there's a little, there's a hazard to doing these reviews for sure. There's a little bit of danger involved. Uh, so water enriched wheat flour, beef beans contains 2% or less. So you have vegetable oil, but I do like how they separated it. So, and then one of the ingredients is beef, which is a good sign. All right, so let's put this in the microwave. See how it tastes. Two minutes, 15 seconds. You can also put it in the oven. And as always, I mean, definitely with the egg rolls yesterday, like you have to put those, you have to put those in the, uh, in the oven or air fryer. Air fryer, like a lot of people mentioned air fryer, that's gonna be your best bet. Okay, so we have this one cooking. This is a classic burrito. Once again, if you're just joining, these are all from the dollar store. Next, I'm going to do review this one. It's I've never seen this brand. Tina's Big Burrito. Let's see. Camino Real Kitchen. Vernon, California. Tina'sBurritos.com. So water, enriched flour, beef, pinto beans, soybean oil. But yeah, you can see the ingredients here. So this one has, the other one had 540 calories. This one has 740 calories. That's crazy. Just in one burrito. How is that even possible? I mean, Texas here, we love you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so now the next one will be chimichanga. This one has 510 calories, so I guess reasonable. But yeah, if you're eating a 2,000 calorie diet and you're eating these burritos all the time, that's, that's, I don't even know. How do you even get, maybe that's just what a burrito has. I mean, it's only, it's only nine ounces of food. That's not very much. Oh, salesman, salesman Dwight. Thank you. 99 stars. 99 stars for dollar store where everything's a dollar. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Just waiting on this burrito here. This one I'm interested because I've never had this brand. I didn't even know. 
it existed before yesterday. So I'm excited to test that one out. We'll see if that is actually as good as the classic El Monterey. Yeah, Mona, this one, the Tina's, because it just looks disgusting. It looks, I mean, the packaging is just, like, could it be any worse, the packaging? But maybe it's like, maybe it's the best, you know, you never know. That's what makes the dollar store so exciting is you find stuff that you, uh, you have no idea. All right, so here we go. The burrito flavored with beef and bean. It do, beef and bean. It doesn't have beef and bean. It's flavored with beef and bean. And while this is actually while I'm gonna do the taste test, I want to put this in the the fridge. Or not the fridge. I want to put this in the microwave. <laughs> okay, so microwave. Uh, one minute thirty seconds frozen. I I don't. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be about three minutes. All right, that's what this thing looks like. So, comparison, it's much bigger. Yeah, might want to take some tums first. Uh, yeah, yeah, a Pepto Bismol something. Okay. So extra large burrito here. Check that out. Look at this. Yeah, I'm, I'll just be at home all day pretty much. So check that out. Look at that. Kind of can't really identify what's in here. But how does it taste? That's the most important thing. So this is the extra large, extra, extra large burrito. Here we go. Three, two, one. Taste test. So yeah, I mean, I've had these burritos before, not in this form, and they're not bad. They're not bad. They don't. They don't taste horrible. There's a chewiness to the to the outside uh, burrito, or I mean the flour. Is it flour? Yeah, flour tortilla, uh, which I like. It's not just like mushy like the egg rolls were yesterday. Uh, there's this kind of a little bit spiciness to the the bean. And there's kind of a hardiness hardiness of like the the that you get from the combination of the beef and bean flavor. So, I mean, it's it's decent. I I recognize this flavor. I've had it before. But usually it's in those like, I don't know if you've seen them in the store, but they come in these like huge packages and they have, you know, these, they're a lot smaller. So they're decent. Is that, is there cheese? Um, okay. Here's interesting. I don't think so. I don't think there's cheese, but flavor with beef and bean textured with vegetable protein added. So that's, that's like advanced, like science, scientific stuff. That's like engineered food. I like it. All right, so uh, here we go. Let's try it again. Yeah, air fryer, I agree. So yeah, since I used to eat these way back in the day, it's kind of a nostalgic flavor. It's not horrible. I mean, I recognize this taste, so it's pretty good. The ingredients, not so good, but flavor, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing off-putting about it. It's pretty good. And if you cooked it right, um, is there a sauce? No, there's no sauce. Mexican blend of cheese, yeah. No, I could totally see, like, you could definitely add stuff to that, you know, and make it way better. All right. So, let me see if it's cooked. Yep, it's cooked. This is the big burrito. It's big because it has 740 calories in this thing. And let's 
see what it looks like. Yeah, check that out. I would say the color is a little bit darker. Uh, it is beef and bean, so maybe, I mean, it looks like just from the color that it's more beef. And this one that's flavored with beef and bean kind of looks like more bean, just color-wise, you know. But how does it taste? I do like that the tortilla is not soggy at all. It's a nice tortilla. That, that meat is scary. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but how does it taste? This is the Tina's Big Burrito Beef and Bean. I'd never seen this brand before, but it was in the, the Dollar Tree frozen food section. So here we go. Three, two, one. And you know what? This isn't bad. I'm tasting it. Um, it's kind of like a, a, I would say more forward, definitely on the beef. Uh, I put them in the microwave. Yeah, get get the water ready. Exactly. So I would say it's more forward on kind of the beef flavor. Um, it's There's some spice to it. Uh, like a nice spice, like it's it has a more of a fresh taste. Like there's, I mean, this is all you know flavoring, but it it tastes fresher. I don't know if that makes sense, but it tastes like it has like spices in here that you know that just came out of the spice section at at your local grocery store. So it's more, uh, it's more flavorful, you know, like in a in a like a not not a fake way, you know. Something you more likely get at a restaurant. Let me try it again. Let me try. I'm going to try this one more time. This is a tough one. I didn't think it would be so difficult. I'm going to try the other one. All right, you know what? I like this one better. I like this one better. I like the Tina's big burrito. It, it. I didn't think it was going to happen because this one's pretty good, but I would say this one's better. Didn't think that was going to happen. All right, so finally, extra large chimichanga, spicy red hot bean and cheese. How does this one taste? I'm going to put it in the microwave. It's two minutes, 10 seconds. So here we go. I'm going to get another plate. Let me just sh show you what this one looks like. Check that out. So similar size as this one. A little bit, definitely smaller than the, the, the Tina's big burrito. That makes me look took it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not the most appetizing looking thing. I would say, you know, add a little cheese, put a little uh, shredded lettuce on top. You know, you can make this thing look passable. You know, like put some corn chips on the side, maybe some rice. The spicy one. Which spicy one? The, oh, this one. The chimichanga. Okay, gotcha. The spicy red hot bean and cheese. This is Tina's big burrito. I've had the Tina's one before. It's not too bad. Yeah. I've never seen it, so yeah, it's good to know other people have seen it. So it wasn't just like in my Dollar Tree. I bought them and made each on a day. If I bought them and made each, uh, I would say 0%. <laughs> no, uh, I would say if you put some cheese on it and... Uh, Lettuce, 
no one's going to know. And then you put some fresh rice or something. I don't know, maybe some beans, some you know, side of beans or something. I, I think... So and like get some margaritas, have some margaritas. I don't, and then eventually you won't won't even care. All right, so let's try this out. Here we go. Just cooking the uh, the chimichanga, spicy red hot bean and cheese. Never had good good luck with the Dollar Tree food. Um, yeah, I've kind of avoided Dollar Tree food, you know, the frozen food section. But I think I think there's there's a huge selection. So I mean, there's if you don't like something, there's there's lots of stuff to choose from. But I've been trying stuff out. I think yesterday the I did not really care for the uh, egg rolls, but I would say the burritos are actually better. To the flavor is better. I think the quality is better. And probably because you're dealing with ingredients that don't cost much money in the first place, but with the uh, egg rolls, you know, it's I think, especially like the lobster egg roll, you're dealing with ingredients that it's really hard to get it down to that price point if it's quality. Who knows what meat it is? There could be a cat. Uh, <laughs> there could, I mean, you never know. I don't think so, but all right. So extra large uh, chimichanga, spicy red hot bean and cheese. Twenty dollars to eat all of it? I don't know. That's like almost three thousand calories of of food. That's a lot. All right. So this is what it looks like. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. The spice is good. I like the spice. Um, the tortilla is different. Is this? It's. It tastes almost deep fried. Is that? Is that what they're? I don't know the difference, but it's it's a uh, greasier. Um, I thought I was gonna like this one the most actually when I when I looked at everything, but uh, yeah, it's it's. I do like the spice. I I think I just like spicy stuff in general. So, but flavor wise, it's, mm, it's okay. Let me just taste the burrito first so I can rank these. Yeah, one has hot sauce and cheese. All right, I think I got my, uh, my, uh, yeah, my worst to best. Let's do the worst to best. Uh, gotta s tell them to give you $20 in stars. Yeah, I, I hope somebody's listening out there. Cause this, this comes at a cost. Like this is a uh, tough to eat. All right. So from worst to best, I would say the worst is the Monterey extra large chimichanga, spicy red, hot bean and cheese. The middle is the burrito, the extra large burrito flavor with beef and bean. Uh, the chimichangas are deep fried. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I can definitely taste that. There are a lot, there's a lot more going on there. A lot richer flavor greasier but i think the best surprisingly didn't think it just based on the packaging if you work at tina's big burrito factory immediately fire your marketing person and redesign the uh the packaging because it's just you could do 10 times more business by redesigning it all right at least i think you could but i think the tina's big burrito 
is the best out of all of them. It it I didn't. It's kind of a shocker to me because I thought this was gonna be my least favorite, and it's not even the most appetizing looking. But I think the Tina's Big Burrito. I like it. You get a ton of food. I mean, you get seven hundred and forty calories if you're just going on calories alone for a dollar twenty five. It's huge. It's huge. So thanks for watching, everyone. Once again, everything, if you're just joining me, everything here is from the Dollar Tree. So everything was $1.25 each. There's a huge frozen food, food section. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I, man, I had a dog. She would have loved this, this food. Loved it. So, unfortunately, I'll probably be, be having to eat all this. But, nah, it's not that bad. But, uh, yeah, and w one thing I learned that uh, not all Dollar Trees have frozen food sections. A lot of them do, but a lot of them don't. So, you can't get this at every Dollar Tree. So, I, I learned that yesterday. I thought every Dollar Tree had a frozen food section, but it's not the case. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, hopefully it's as popular as the um, the egg roll one, the vegetable, or the chicken, shrimp, and lobster. And, yeah, people are wishing me luck. I appreciate that. I'll, I'm not going to give you an update, but, yeah, we here in Texas don't have the frozen food of section in the Dollar Tree. Yeah, maybe it's, I don't know. I don't know how they decide which one gets one and which one doesn't, but, but, uh, thanks everyone till next time. I'll see you later. Bye.